Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. I know this setup is a bit crazy. First of all, why am I wearing a wig? I cannot tell you either. Ah, kann nicht wahr sein. Stop. Why am I holding a microphone? Well, actually, today I'm doing something, let's call it computer related again. <laughs> I am gonna react to my first ever YouTube video. If you don't know that, I uploaded my first ever YouTube video, I think two or three years ago. Let's actually look it up. Let's type in the most underrated YouTube channel on YouTube. Yep, yeah, that's me. The first ever video I uploaded was creating myself in The Sims 4. Also, hi YouTube. Oh my God. This is already three years old. I uploaded my first ever YouTube video back in 2021. My content was Sims related. Then on one day I just decided to stop and never upload again. Then this year I decided to upload again. I want to react to this video because I not only created my Sims self, I also stated some facts about me and I'm really curious to get to know my old self. So let's stop talking about the uh, heiße Brei. <laughs> No, how do you say that in English? Let's just get into the video. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh my god. No. Okay. Okay, stop. <sighs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh, the old intro. I was so Hi. proud of this. Hey guys, it's Clumsy Sims and welcome to my channel and also welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Oh my god. I sound like this little hamster. I sound so cute. If you clicked on this video, thank you so much for doing so. Um, it means the absolute world to me. It um, still means the absolute world to me if someone clicks on my video. Even if it's 10 people, I appreciate you all. Especially my friends who support me through every video, who comment and like and do everything. Love you so much. Hi. <laughs> I'm so excited but also super nervous to be doing this voiceover. This is one of the last steps. I already <laughs> like recorded the video, edited it um, and now I'm doing this voiceover. I mean uploading the video would probably be the last step. Yes, that would make sense. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> doing the voiceover is like oh, the hardest thing for me I guess because and here's the first big disclaimer. I'm not from an English speaking country. I'm actually from Germany. Yep, yeah, still from Germany. Three years later. Still have the same accent and everything. I hope you all don't mind. That I should have a pretty strong accent. So I hope that's not too irritating. And I'm also not like the best English speaker. I'm definitely not the worst, but I um, struggle with grammar and finding words and building. Yeah, language. still my grammar is so fucked up sometimes and I definitely need to work on my vocabulary. Maybe I should do some English lessons <laughs> and learn some more interesting or important English words because I sometimes struggle with that even three years later. But I have to say I do enjoy speaking English a lot even if I speak to myself which happens sometimes when I interview myself at 3 a.m. in my room about my career that is not reality but whatever. I always speak English. Don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah. I think everyone does that, but mm, probably in their native language. If you do that too, let me know so I don't be like a freak. I hope you don't mind that. Um, forgive me <laughs> for my poor English skills. Um, I don't have poor English skills. I was just saying that so people wouldn't hate on me if I say something wrong. My English is good. It's not poor. I still find this video entertaining and enjoyable to watch. If you do so. Also, I'm holding this microphone so weirdly the whole time. This microphone is so teeny tiny. I only bought it because it's pink and when I set it on my table, you can barely hear me. So I have to hold it like this. But look at it. It's so cute. I bought it like one year ago because, fun fact, I wanted to start YouTube again one year ago. And, oh my god, everything's connected. Oh my god. I wanted to do Sims. YouTube videos again, but I didn't want to show my face, but I also kind of wanted to show my face. I bought like 10 wigs. This is one of them. It's October now. I bought them in September, so it's a little bit over a year, but still. And I wanted to do Sims videos again and show myself like in the corner, but with a wig on and some big glasses. So you cannot really see me, but you can see me a little bit. Oh my god, that's so crazy actually. And look at me now. Thank you. <laughs> so to the video. Um, as you can see, I'm creating my sim self. I mean, it's on the thumbnail, should be in the title. Um, and I already um, 
I hate myself for not cutting out the M's. A photo of it on my Instagram. That's also Clumsy Sims. So if you're into create a sim, I think my Clumsy Sims Instagram account is still up, but I privated it. Funny story: a girl I knew from school started following the Clumsy Sims account, and I didn't want people that I know to know about this channel, to know about this hobby because I was so embarrassed. Which is like bullshit. This is such a cute and creative and interesting hobby. If you want to follow me now, do it. But back then I was really insecure and I saw her following this account and I immediately, Im I immediately removed her as a follower. I was panicking, I was shaking, I was like, no, everyone's gonna make fun of me now. And this girl particularly, like, fun fact, I was bullied in school, but this girl in particular was not like that. She was so sweet and everything. She would have never hated on me. So I'm so sorry, love you. Content, gameplay content. Or if you just want to like follow me, support me, <laughs> that would be so nice. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I sound so nervous. And <laughs> you could barely um, see the at clumsy I'm sims. Mm. A lot of creative sim stuff on there, and I thought it would be um, cool to post myself, like introducing myself um, as a first post. If I say M one more time, ah. Uh. YouTube channel. Um, Stop. I also guess you kind of have to trust me on that because I'm not planning on showing myself. I hope the sim self can give you like an idea of what I look like. At the end of this you can tell me if the sim self looks like me. So I asked my mom and my boyfriend if they think the sim looks like me and they were like, okay, you're not twins. But um, there's def definitely a similarity. I have their approval and they should know what I look like. I struggled so hard. Yeah, but like creating your sim self is really hard. I know there are people out there who can create celebrities and all that perfectly. I could not do that. What do I look like? <laughs> I literally don't know. Um, Body dysmorphia be like. <laughs> but I also think I did a pretty good job. Like here, the dark eye circles. Um, still, I still going strong, the dark, the eye, dark circles. eye circles. For this video, I never had them in my game. But I have pretty dark eye circles all the time. I'm also pretty pale, so I <laughs> yeah, still be, I guess. <laughs> and Wait, I need to watch this again. I kind of look like a zombie, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> me and the Sims free. <laughs> and people are constantly asking me, are you sick? Did you not sleep well? Actually, so at this time in my life, I was not wearing makeup ever. Now that I'm wearing makeup, people don't ask me that constantly, but still a lot. And it yeah, pisses I'm me like, off. No, I don't wear makeup and I have dark eye circles. That's all. And I also didn't make my sim wear makeup because I don't wear makeup in real life. I never did anything for my looks, which on one hand, I don't know if that makes me more confident back then that I was just going out as I am. A good in-between would have been or would be good. Now I think about my looks too much, but back then it was more like I was low-key depressed. That's why I didn't do anything. The girls thing, I yeah, just yeah, yeah. can't do it and I'm too lazy. <laughs> so if you can do makeup, oh my god, yes, I, I can wish do I it. could do that. <laughs> So even though I like my makeup routine now, I think it suits my face pretty good, but like really interesting eyeshadow and stuff I still cannot do. Uh, so much fun to make my sim self. I um, actually already created two sim selves for um, gameplay reasons, like with my boyfriend and I made us a little family, but I don't play with them anymore. <laughs> so is that a bad sign? <laughs> Let's just say... Yeah. <laughs> and I tried to record this video for three times. The first time I actually was like pretty okay with the result. I was like, that tr that looks like me. And then the next day I came back and realized that sim doesn't look like me at all. <laughs> that so sim doesn't look like video. me at all. I or does it? I found it pretty hard to not like perfect things in my face. I yeah, that, that was hard. I was like, eyes a bit like prettier in my opinion or I was like let's make the nose a bit smaller still praying for that nose drop money I'm not gonna do it probably uh, I should just accept my nose and my face like it is as I already mentioned I think I did a pretty good and realistic job and um, maybe I should also say some things about me mm -hmm. so let me know more about you <laughs> I'm Lily I'm 19 years old <gasps> oh my god I was a baby <laughs> 19 
it is like 100 years ago hi i'm lily i'm 23 years old now few days um what i absolutely hate i don't want to turn 20. yeah yeah still still every birthday is makes me want to cry i'm from germany as i said i'm a student at a uni I'm not a student anymore i'm a full-grown social worker i also have a full-time internship and i work with people that are or were addicted to drugs did this for a long time now i am working with refugees actually families that have that problem it was a very cool internship i learned a lot and because that's an internship and they don't pay me i also work as a cash register <laughs> i work at the cash me. <laughs> yeah i was super broke back then uni was super expensive i didn't make a lot of money it was not a good time oh my god imagine me being a cash register that would have made imagine that <laughs> But as you can see, my English skills are on point, but um, I hate that job, definitely. Um, I hated it so much. Casual. Every day I'm grateful that I don't have to do it anymore. It pays for my education, so that I guess is everything that matters. Oh, my and foot is sleepy. is my biggest oh. hobby. I spend literally all my free time, either with my boyfriend, because my boyfriend is also my only friend. <laughs> yeah, I was very lonely back then. I did not have any friends back then and when i say i didn't have any friends i mean zero and now i have my girlfriends every day i'm so grateful to have them guys i love you so much the other time that's left i spent with creating sim content that's stuff. also a big reason why i stopped doing this because i was basically just going to uni and working and if i didn't go to uni i went to my internship and then I went to work and all my free time I spent creating this content and now that I'm doing this I don't care if 10 people watch this I just love doing this I mean in 10 years I can always look back and see what I've done when I was 23 years old and even now I can look back at this and see what I was like at 19 just use YouTube as your personal diary it's so much fun but my mental health was really bad not that it's good now and I was so overworked so I had to stop doing something and this was the only thing i could stop there was no chance i could have stopped my job or my education also i really wanted people to see this and so i just decided to not keep going because nobody cared anyways and that's very sad what could have happened if i just kept going what if what if what if doesn't matter now i'm so glad i'm doing it again it's so much fun for my story on instagram romantic stories you can also add no mm -mm. i forgot about that completely i don't know what you know about sims and simstagram let's call it that but there were these channels that uploaded like you can call it comics i think they made screenshots in the sims and they wrote stories put the text on the pictures and then you could read the story and every day every two days every week they would upload and the story kept going and i did something like this too but my story was literally so bad and had so many plot holes to the point where even people were like gay hey, what is going on yeah that's also something i did writing those stories i don't know if this still exists to be honest but if it does it's probably privated and, and this is gonna stay privated because that's that's real embarrassing stuff i just love the sims and maybe this video thing <laughs> can be a new hobby i absolutely enjoyed editing the video um i begin still to do. enjoy to make this voice over actually <laughs> get better and if you want to see something um, specific on this channel you can write it down below in the comments and as the video comes to an end i just want to thank everyone that clicked on this video and watched this video if you enjoy content like this that's so cute on instagram if you don't want to follow me that's also okay thank you yeah still so okay <laughs> wow i mean yeah well, i can see myself in that sim also the style okay. this was my style back then i don't dress like that anymore at all and i like my style now way better but no hate to my old self because as i said i was fucking broke thanks for watching oh my god it's so cute hi guys welcome to my channel this is my first ever youtube video i'm so excited i hope you enjoyed watching this creating my sim self video clumsy sims instagram <gasps> let's not do this now this was such a wild ride it was so wholesome and nostalgic nostalgic i really enjoyed that this was my first ever youtube video crazy if you want me to react to my other videos like i have one video i don't know how that happened this happened after i stopped doing videos i have this one video diving into the goth family history and giving them a makeover which has 
over 23,000 views, which is crazy. So if you want me to react to this, let me know. I would love to. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you're having a lovely day and you're doing good. Thanks for the support. I hope I will see you in the next video, whatever that will be. See ya. Bye. By the way, what do we say about blonde? I love cheap wigs, but it looks very bad in the back because I don't know how to do my hair under the wig. But maybe I will wear this on Halloween. Okay, let's stop now. Bye.